Today's video is a video on how to pick handcuffs. I guess the first thing I have to say is that you really don't pick handcuffs. You just make something that resembles a key, a handcuff key, and you use that to open the handcuffs. Same way you'd open up using a key. They are not difficult to open. And I could show you right here that they'll be pretty simple. This will go over how they work and how to open them. That being said, there are a few things that uh, you should know first. One, most of the time you're handcuffed, it's going to be behind your back. That's where the skill is. Being able to open a pair of handcuffs behind your back, that takes practice and is really the only amount of skill that you'll actually need. The rest of this is all just simple mechanics of the lock. Anyways, we'll get to the actual picking now. So as I said before, picking a set of handcuffs is really just opening them using a key that you made out of something else. So you see this is a handcuff key that actually came with these ones here. They're Smith & Wesson. How these work, these handcuffs, is that there's a spring operated bar that goes across here and locks into the grooves that you see right there which prevents you from pulling that way because they, the bar locks into them and that is the first way when you get handcuffs put on that they lock, that's why you see in the movies they clip them on quickly, you get the noise and they stay locked on the problem with this is you keep tightening them until they're really tight on the hands and can cause injuries. Another problem with it is, is that if you slide something through here when it's locked in, like a thin sheet of metal, you could open it up. It's basically shimming a pair of handcuffs. You could find lots of videos on that. It's okay, but I don't ever do it because I find picking them or opening them with a little piece of wire like that is simple and more practical because you'll probably be double locked into a pair of handcuffs. So as I said, there's a little bar that as you push, it goes gets pushed down a little bit and catches into it, catches into the serrations. Now, once they're on and to prevent issues with people trying to tighten them and hurt themselves purposely and a few other things, handcuffs all have a double locking feature. You see in there, there's a little bar. Well, what it is is the back of your handcuff key. There's a little protrusion on it. You put it in the back like that, and you push. You'll hear a click. The bar is gone from here. So you push that way. What that is is an extra lock on it that prevents you from moving the handcuff anymore. You can go either way with it. What it is is the bar that's working here. It's able to go down with the spring pressure. When you push that, another bar basically just pushes up behind it so you can't bring the the, uh, the bar can't go down with spring pressure anymore and it doesn't uh, let it move anymore so that's what they call double locking handcuffs now if we have just a single locked one the way it's opened is you put the key in you turn it, you'll feel it engaging against the spring 
activated the lever and you could open it up like that when it's double locked put it in like that you go to turn it and there's no spring pressure you don't feel anything it's just a solid wall basically so that's because it's been double locked in order to remove a double lock on it you take the key you turn in the opposite direction until you hear a click I don't know if you heard it there Good double. I can put the lock back on but put the key in turn it heard the click you see that I'll do it again just so we can see the so we'll take the double lock off and you'll see the little bar up here so that's how you open handcuffs then you're able to turn in the other direction again and come apart so that's a simple way of opening handcuffs no problems if you have a key it's always best to have a key if you can it makes your life a lot easier Let's double lock this. Guess I wasn't double locked. Let's double lock it. All right. As you see now, it's double locked again. Now you want to take a piece of metal that fits into the hole of the key, and you want to use that. With a lot of practice, you'll get the right shape of it for working with your hands behind your back and with different methods but all you have to do is take one of these bend it out like that so you have something to grab onto take the flat end fingernail and just yank off the plastic that's on the tip and now you've got just a nice little piece of steel you don't need anything special to bend it just take the opening place it in slightly so it's about the same as a key and bend it now you've got a bend on it that'll fit inside so as I said it was double locked so what we have to do is we have to stick the wire in Once it's in like that, you just go around the hole. And we'll go around, you should hear it click. And you see the double lock has been removed. Now all you have to do is go back the other way with it. It's as if you're using the key, except it's not centered on the hole on the uh, protrusion in the middle. Now I just turn it the other way and I'll put a little bit of pressure on it so we can see it open right away. And as you turn, see how it opened? Same idea again, just turn. This one's going to be easier because you will feel the spring pressure on it. This side you just have to make sure you have the right length because when you go around if you don't want to catch it on anything else. You just want to catch it on the bar that's going to be underneath. And we'll do that again just for ease of turning. So double locked. Take your piece, you bend it in here so that you've got a little bit of a bend. Put it in the hole and go around the knob that's there and you heard the click it's perfect which means that the double lock is off as you can see go the other way just keep following around the circle basically and open so 
So that's basically how you open these things. Not difficult. The difficulty is when you have to do it without seeing what you're doing. And you have to base it on feel behind your back. And depends on which side the actual lock is facing. Or the keyhole is facing when you work on these things. Because depending on how they put them on your hands, it might be completely opposite. So you'll be putting a lot of force on your wrists trying to get around to unlock it. Said the rest is just practice. That's the basics of how they work, why, and how to pick them, or basically how to make a key in order to open them the same way the police open them, or whoever's got you, crazy girlfriend, anything. All right. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, please, if you enjoy these, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again.